Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Deadfire with me, Bring It On. Before we go look at ships and ship accessories, I do want to upgrade some of our equipment. Uh, ten. So starting with my main character and his hammer, I'm going to grab Bell Ringer, which is an active we can use twice per rest. The wielder aims for the target's head, concussing them. It's a full attack that dazes for 12 seconds. Versus Call to Arms, which I think is terrible. It's entirely too circumstantial. Most of the fights we've been in so far haven't had destructibles anyway. And the ones that have have had maybe two. So you get 24 seconds of Tenacious, which is a great effect. But again, you won't use it most of the time. I could almost see it being used as a secondary weapon set for a dual wielding character. And if you saw the destructibles before combat started, you swap to it and then engage. But even then, Bellringer is a full attack. So if it's on a dual wielding character, this is better since they attack with both weapons in the same round. I just don't think there's a way to justify call to arms. So, Bellringer it is. Alright, Kadu Skull. I'm going to grab Luminous Harmony here. Minus 5% damage taken from all sources. Scales with Metaphysics, which doesn't matter for this character. Uh, versus Soul Smite. Which I do think is a great effect. But it's only one use per rest. Where this is always active. And plus, as a tank, what do you want to do? Take less damage. I did get the Enchanter achievement there. Alright, Kabbalist Gambeson. So I do think Arcane Containment and Arcane Extension are both really good. Uh, Retaliatory Runes is probably the worst upgrade out of these. Because these are both guaranteed effects. This is 10% chance of activating. I'm going to go with Arcane Extension though for the increased duration. We don't have the resources for this. I think a merchant sells large fangs. We also need large fangs for Whispers of the Endless Paths. And that's already upgraded. Alright, so this one's a little harder. I think Rock Solid into Like a Steel Trap is better. Because Veteran's Maneuver only lasts until he gets hit twice. Where Like a Steel Trap is always active. I might just hold off on upgrading this for now anyway. We might find something better. A Tarn's Respite. Yeah, I like Brittle Frost more. So every time he lands a hit, he's more likely to land the next hit because you're reducing the target's deflection. I mean, the best way to negate an enemy's action speed is to kill them. And the best way to do that is to land your hits. So, Brittle Frost it is. I don't really want either one of these right now. Okay, I think Ardent is better, since it is a guaranteed effect. You do have to lose health in order to use it. But this is only a 25% chance. And you have to be hit by an enemy. I guess we really don't need either one of these upgrades right now anyway. Let's go ahead and grab this though. Okay. 
And for Whispers of the Endless Paths, I do want Blade Form. So she attacks more frequently. This is nice. But I think this is better. And then between Run Through and Spinning Assault, I think Run Through is the better option. It provides crowd control and raw damage, which is fantastic. Plus the icon looks a lot cooler. And Spinning Assault. I mean, this does sync well with itself, because it pushes them back and then hobbles them. But I don't want to knock them away from me. I'm assuming this also works with the cone effect on the weapon. So you might be able to knock multiple enemies prone, right? I'm going to keep an eye on. Yeah, we need large fangs for that. Okay, I like elementally stable more. The plus two armor rating for burn, corrode, freeze, and shock. Then upgrades to plus two crush. Just makes him a little bit more survivable. And then Keybreaker Scepter. Okay, this is an aura. 20% chance to reflect against punishment condemnation attacks. Reject the power of the gods. Aura grants party chance to reflect punishment and condemnation attacks. And then reject the wheel. Plus 10 all defenses except deflection for 30 seconds for nearby allies on scoring kill with Keybreaker. Absolutely. Let's go and upgrade that all the way. Oh, this is really good. So when enemies get past my front line and engage with Aloth, I want him to get away. So if they engage and they miss, and he just acted, this will reset his action. So he can use, um, oh, what's it called? Yes. Escape. That's what I thought, but I wanted to make sure. Let's grab insistence here. It's only a 10% chance, but still. And retreat. Yeah, because when we swap to the Rapier and Buckler, we just want him to survive. So anything that helps with that. I do think that the immunity is better. But I don't know if we need it yet. We'll hold off on that as well. But pretty happy with those upgrades so far. Of course. I will swing by the hunter here and see if they sell large fangs. I swear I saw a merchant selling large fangs somewhere. It might be an alchemist. Which there are two in Ekitaka. One in Delver's Row and the other is in Pariki's Overlook. Which we may be heading to Pariki's Overlook this episode anyway to buy that Arbalist for Jody. I've got every, of course. Right, a little disappointed with that. Business comes. Ugh. 
Okay, we spent a little more than I anticipated on upgrades. I might just wait till we can afford this. Uh, let's see what current upgrades we have for our ship. Five turns to reload, that's four turns. Does more damage. That does quite a bit more damage. Well, that's really good. So same reload time as the Iron Thunderer. But does significantly more damage. Hmm. What else do I have? Oh, that's terrible. Same damage as the Iron Thunderer. Takes two more turns to reload. It does have greater range. Hmm. Business comes and oh. Alright, so I'm gonna sell these. And this one. That. Okay, just look at upgrades for right now. Same as what I have. Well, I sell so many anchors and lanterns. You only equip one at a time, right? Let's do captain's quarters. Upgrades the captains of the sorry the cabins of the captain to be more luxurious. The menagerie. A pen created to house all of the extra pets that can't be taken on adventures. Oh, let's grab that. So we have a ton of pets. So combat and travel speed, isn't that what this does as well? Ten percent travel speed versus ten percent travel speed. So just multiple flavors of the same thing. Okay. Let's grab one of these. One of these. It's pretty pricey. 16 twos. Yeah, it's the same price. I think I just want more travel speed. The faster you travel, the less resources you have to burn to get from place to place. Lose some health, but we always board anyway, so I'm not really worried about that. So we're spending a pretty penny here. I think it'll be worth it. I didn't buy a helm, which I don't think we need yet anyway. Okay, now I'm going to save up for a new ship, because I think these other ships right. have more crew slots, right? Business comes in. Oh. 
Yeah, nine versus, I think ours is five. Yeah. Yes. So ways to go, but we have a nice little upgrade now. We move pretty quick. So let's get a Preki's Overlook. I want to buy that Arbalest for Jody and see if the Alchemist there sells two large fangs. In the dark cupboard. Shop imp, greetings. The simp mutters something dark and hateful under its breath. Regards you with narrow, wandering eyes and flared nostrils. What was that? Eh, buy something. He makes a rude gesture toward the shop's wares. But why are you so hostile? It's not hostile. It's just imp. He bares his teeth and hisses to emphasize the point. Is imp and is sad. His expression falls. New sags, wrinkles, and edges grow definition. Fasina spends too much time away from shop, leaving me to fend for self. He's bad enough master won't let me leave stupid shop. Why do you think Fasina spends so much time away? Eh, she hates her work, hates Archimere, hates me. Reason enough. He counts on each finger, then balls his claw into a fist. So you're not angry at all, are you? Imp's complicated. I think we have two big emotions, angry and happy. He smacks his lips and stumbles into the longer, more nuanced words. But Kith can't smell imp spray. Jovial spray, melancholy spray, creative spray, imp spray all over everything. To accentuate the point, a little puff of smell foul-smelling fluvia wafts out of an orifice that was not evident a second ago. Right, back to my other questions. Go on, I don't care. He gestures for you to hurry. I'm looking for Ifrin. Dead thief? Check box. He's still rattling around in there. The imp chuckles at this. A wet, unpleasant sound. Show me what you have for sale. Salutations. Do you wish to hear your fortune? Only one pyre. So I am interested in bringing Fasina back here to speak to the imp. Sorry, I accidentally alt tabbed out there. Uh, before I buy the Arbalest, let's make sure we have enough to upgrade our current weapon. Welcome back, stranger. If you have questions...
Now, she does sell upgrade resources, but not the large fangs. Some of these are pretty rare, like the Awakened Audra. We haven't found a ton of that yet. Just double checking. Okay. If you need iron... Alright, that gives all of our money. But I think it's worth it. Uh, who has it? So scales with Arcana, I think that's the upgrade we want for the Arbalist. Ooh. So I do think Elemental Bolts is better. It just gives you a wide range of damage. Can't afford it yet, so... Doesn't matter. I think Skewer is the way to go here as well. Gives you a powerful attack that can hit multiple enemies and can immobilize them, where this just gives you a chance to mobilize. The Elemental Bolts and Skewer. It's a really awesome Arbalist. I shall. Also, we do have a weapon in my inventory that I meant to give to Constantine, I think. I think we can swap out companions in the Luminous Bathhouse. Voice acting is not working. Please, enjoy the bat. Oh, you could with this guy. My friend, you return. If Here we go. Goddess. I know he doesn't have a pole axe. He has battle axe, great sword, mace. Okay, that's why we didn't give this to him. Mm -hmm. Works for me. Uh, let's go speak to the imp with Vecina in the party. We're not going to get a lot done this episode either. Though I do want to at least leave Nekataka and head back east. I want to finish exploring that chain of islands we had started exploring. 
And after that, we're going to head to Fort Deadlight. So maybe I missed my chance. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Uh, we're hurting a little bit for food, but we have plenty of stuff we just gotta throw in there to make do for now. All right, that's where we need to go for the quest. According to it, we're very underleveled. We might do that before we go to Fort Deadlight then, since it is right here. And the challenge that it potentially presents is exciting. Oh, nothing there. Hungry Shoals. I get a little off course now. So it's like this area is blocked off by the Hungry Shoals, so we'll take care of that next time. Let's do the Ruined Tower. Now this fragment of a fallen keep stands like a monument to ruin and a beacon for plunder. You find a ruined tower rising up from the top of a low hillock. Uh, the wooden stone structure is stained by oily smoke residue, and a smattering of masonry is spread out from the tower's base in a wide fan. It seems to have suffered from some kind of explosion. Search the location. You take some time to search the tower. And find a selection of rare potions crammed onto a shelf. I keep searching. I find a handful of common gems. You've searched every inch of the tower. There's nothing left for you to take. Well, so be it. Oh, 
Oh gosh, this keeps going, doesn't it? Oh, this is an alternate way in? Okay, I'm going to call it here. The next episode, we'll finish mapping this out. Oh, this is where we need to go for the quest. Uh, so I may not go here yet. We'll finish mapping it out and then go to... Well, I'm not sure where. I do want to head back to Fort Deadlight, so we'll probably prioritize that before we do the quests here. And it's a little inefficient. There's a few other things we can do here before going to Matari Okozi. We'll figure it out next time. Either way, for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.